We are super pumped that WWE Raw Monday Night Live is coming back to Calgary. Uh, we haven't had it here for 11 years, and uh, we have a queen amongst us, Buzz. Jeez. I don't know if you've noticed, but there's a queen here. <laughs> Liv Morgan, no crown. Yeah, yeah, you got yeah. your belt. Wow, that looks huge. This is my crown. <laughs> yes, it's so beautiful and large and lovely, and it's all mine. And it's hers. Congratulations on being the champion. Uh, you. You've clocked in at over 100 days now. How's how's it feel? You were born a champion, I'm guessing. Oh my gosh, amazing. Every day I wake up, the Women's World Champion. Are you kidding? <laughs> Are you kidding? And I have Daddy Dom by my side. Life is so good right now. I yes. can't ask for anything more. <laughs> Daddy Dom. How I feel you, like uh... you're his daddy, though. I think you might be the boss, right? <laughs> It's very, it's very even. It's very even. It's so lovely. Okay. How do you accessorize with a belt as part of your fashion? Because that's that's a little <laughs> big for a tiny waist. Yeah, we kind of just let this do all the talking. This is the statement piece. Anything else is kind of just, you know, no one's gonna notice anyway. This is the real fashion statement. The real statement maker. It is thing. a fashion statement. So we let oh it just gosh. have all the attention and all the glory. Um, personal question. Have you ever slept with the belt? Yes, I have. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, athletes sleep with their medals. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. It's it a very yeah. good pillow, but it makes a nice little companion, you know? <laughs> you know, growing up, uh, four older brothers, a younger sister, you got to be the one that they tried their moves on. I was like, me too. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, weird. Like, We're no, no. I did have... A younger sister that would always have to play the sports that her two <laughs> older brothers would want. We weren't so much in the back backyard wrestling with her. Oh my goodness! What kind of stuff yeah, did your brothers put you kids. through? I'm sorry. What? What kind of stuff did your brothers put you through? Oh man! I mean, honestly, <laughs> I don't even want to say because I don't want anyone listening or watching <laughs> to get any ideas because it was not safe and it's not nothing that any kid should try at home. Um, but we were. We were full on wrestling in our little makeshift backyard wrestling ring. And luckily, you know, we all walked away and escaped and everyone <laughs> walked away safe and healthy. But it was like the very, very most popular after school spots. Could all you as a 12 year old, prayer. as a 12 year old, like a 10, 11, 12 year old live ever imagine that this is what you would be doing in life as an adult? I think she always hoped. I think she always hoped. And that was like, you know, my biggest dream ever that seems so far-fetched and so out of reach and so like there's no possible way I could make this happen um so yeah I mean I wake up every day like having pinch me moments of just you know um knowing that I'm very blessed and I'm just so happy and hoping that I just do everything justice because um I grew up loving it so much you know we had the Scottish warrior Drew McIntyre on earlier this week uh -oh. and he gave us the origin story for the Claymore that involved some ripped leather pants. And then kicking his feet up, <laughs> his pants ripping, and we're like, I'd like to see that. <laughs> yeah, uh, how did how did the oblivion come to uh, fruition for you? Yeah, I'm aware of that, Drew story. <laughs> um, mine isn't mine isn't as good. Um, I think I was just looking for a new finishing move, something that I could hit on anyone, something that I could hit out of nowhere. And I was at the WWE Performance Center one day, kind of just messing around with the girls, just kind of like troubleshooting, trying to just, we were playing around really, just seeing like what would work, what would stick. And um, I like accidentally hit the Oblivion and I was like, oh, that might, that might be something. <laughs> um, so I tested it on a SmackDown dark match and the crowd responded to it really well. And I was like, oh, I think like we had done something. I think we did Wait, one something. second, Samantha. I, try it, try it. Okay. I know you have Come on, bring it, it, bring it. So what? you're like lying up against okay. the ropes. No, no, no. And oh, then you guess. tuck your head. <laughs> Be careful. And then, <laughs> and then like this? Yeah, and like, I slam you in the I ground. I feel like you might smell better. I feel like you smell better than this. That's how we He's roll. just getting me back because I did that when we were talking to Drew. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Liv, let's say that this turns into something outside of the WWE for you. If you were offered a position and an, uh, able to host, say, a reality show or be part of something, what would you pick? Oh, man. That's such a loaded question. If I could host <laughs> or be a part of something? Yeah, yeah. 
I don't know. Well, we were like we were just <laughs> talking about Dancing with the Stars yeah. this morning because Ilona Il- Ileona Mar. Have you seen her? The rugby I, I player. I have not watched her on it yet. Is it already Damn. on? No, 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 it starts in no, two no. weeks. Oh, yeah, it starts, saw, yeah, right? But it's like they had she... announced the cast. Oh, I'm excited to see her. Oh, I love her. Um, She's the best. So I was thinking, of, I was kind of thinking like that, right? So, all right. Yeah, no, I think I, I definitely, I'm, I'm open to anything, really. You know, um, if there's one thing I learned through my time at WB is I love um, entertainment. I love all forms of entertainment. So I feel like I'm definitely open, and that's something that I'd be willing to um, do. I think awesome. I do very well at dancing. With the you, stars, I think so too. That's why we're just putting it out in the universe for you, Tish. You don't <laughs> want to say it out loud. Person. I'm saying it for you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. you know, the one thing I'm always impressed about with the wrestlers is, okay, yeah, sure, it's it's athletic, and you're you're in the ring, and you're doing some pretty incredible things, but it's the smack talking that you guys can run your mouth without any um or awe and just freestyle like you're the greatest improvisational actors ever. What is, like, how much work goes into when you're going to S-talk Ray? How much does that, how much goes into that? It's hard. Everything, everything has to go into it. Um, When you choose WWE, like, if you're, like, you know, fortunate enough to, you know, make it in WWE, like, you're choosing that you're going to give this your whole life because that's what it takes. It takes every single part of your being to be successful at this. If you want to be successful, that's like, that's what it is. You, you give it your whole life. So it's like, you just have to give it everything because like you said, it, it requires so much and it encompasses so much. It's not just like athletics. It's like athletics plus the whole TV component, plus the drama component, um, the character aspect um there's so much that goes into it and you have to kind of hone in on it all um and i always say like you have to always train and always have to keep striving to get better because like there's no way you could ever know it all or learn it all in this business there's so much there's so much the knowledge is like infinite and so if you want to know it all which is impossible you just have to keep on learning and training and um, like being coachable. And so it's just, it just takes everything really. It's hard. Well, you're going to have a chance to learn from the best there is, the best there was, and the, the best, best there ever will be. Yeah. Uh, there's going to be a special guest on Monday night. I'm excited. Are you going to say it or do you want me to say it? No, you can, you no, can, no, say, you can, it. say, you can it. say it. The iconic, legendary Brett the Hitman Hart is going to be on Monday yes. Night Raw. Dude. I know. I know. I have goosebumps. I'm like, I know, right? Just the little bit been a long, right there. Long yeah. time. It has been. Is he going to wear, like, he's going to wear. Oh, yeah. Right. Or is he just going to come out street clothes or you're going to wear no. pink? He's going to be bright. They're both iconic. Both, both versions are iconic. You know, him in his yeah. black and pink is iconic. Him in his street clothes is iconic. Yeah. <laughs> I was at an event uh, in the summertime and Brett was over in the corner. And it was a prostate cancer benefit. And oh, yeah. I couldn't. He I couldn't. Like I didn't go over? No, I just saw it. I'm mean, just like, no, speechless. I was just, it would have been so weird. You got to stop and say hi. Yeah. I don't know. I, I would have made it weird. Oh, trust shy. me. Uh, have you had a chance to meet him before? Yes. Yes. I've gotten, um, I've met him a couple of times and um, I, I love Bret Hart. I, I loved, I loved his career. Um, I read his book, big, 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 big fan of his book. Um, I remember when I was reading his book, I just kept on like texting Natty, like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I can't believe this. Or like, <laughs> how's this person doing? How's this person doing? You know, Aww. just like inquisiting about this. Is that a word, inquisiting? Sure. You, 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 you say what you want. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, um, I just kept on, you know, reaching out to Natty, like fact checking, like wow, 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 wow. Um, yeah, big fan, and I'm excited. I'm excited to see him. I'm excited he's gonna be back, you know. And then his stomping grounds too. Um, what yeah. better way to, you know, yeah. have Monday Night Raw? Solid. Well, we're so happy you're coming to the town. We're coming to that you're coming to Cowtown. It's been 11 years, and Liv, we're happy that you're going to be part of Monday Night Raw. WWE. Yeah, Daddy Dom will be there. Show. We will be there. <laughs> Awesome. Thanks for your time, Liv. Thank you, guys. Hope you guys have a good day, and I'll see you guys. Mornings with Samantha and Buzz. Ready to go when you wake up on XL 103.